Hello and welcome to Faden's Friday Fight Night Round 4. And you know what this means. This is where I get my patrons, my loyal supporters, my fans, and just my good friends, and I make them fight it out to see who is the ultimate champion. Because that is what Rome would do. So, if you don't know, watch the other videos, but quick recap, this is where we're doing a knockout competition, we're using Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator to do it, and the winner of each round goes on to face the winners of the other rounds. The grand winner at the end of all of this is going to get a $50 Steam gift certificate, because who doesn't love computer games? So without any further ado, let's turn off this menu and let's introduce our competitors tonight. So, we have Plain Spartans, Kim George. Kim is a great supporter of mine, a true friend, been supporting me for a long time. Kim, big flying kiss to you. What does a flying kiss look like? I don't know. We're going to find out one day. All right. Um, let's go over this side. Looks like we've got the dwarves. Now, the dwarves this time, it is indeed the dwarves facing away from the camera because that is their prerogative. The dwarves are being piloted by Martin Heidemann. Martin, thank you for being a patron supporter. Truly flying, fly, I was going to say flying nuts, flying kick. What the hell? Apparently, it's all about flying today. Here we have a special one, Joseph Delory. Joseph is a really good friend. Joseph really wanted something Australian, ties back to his roots. He asked for an emu. They don't do emus. He gets the kangas. Let's fly over the other side over here. And let's join over here. Persians. This time with the Persians, we have Cody Lewis. Cody, thank you for being a supporter. You've really been around for a while. Really do appreciate it. Persians always seem to do semi-well, but I failed to bring it in for the W at the end. So let's just see if they can be a little bit more lucky tonight. Over here, with the Orcs, Flying Night Bear Games. Look at these ugly buggers. The Orcs always seem to be uh, doing pretty well. They always get close to the W at the end. They never have taken it. So let's see if they are capable tonight. With the Knights, very special guest. You all know her. You all love her. Anna B. Meyer. She is a knight in real life. Let's see how far she can take these knights. Are the knights actually facing anyone? Oh, over here. Now, these guys have been in it since the beginning. It's the footmen, this time under the control of Pierre Cario. Cario. Pierre, my apologies. You, French names, I'm terrible on French names. And the best people on the planet to actually pronounce French names are the French. And it always sounds just like pure sex when you do it. But Pierre Cario. That's what I'm going to go with, with my English just butchering it. Now, we do have a couple of other sides on here. Let's see if we can find them. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. We have the skeletons of a la banana. If I could have come up with a banana swarm, I would have a la. I love you, girl. You know it. So you all know the rules. I'm just going to pitch these guys against each other. If you know Ultimate Battle Simulator, you do know that not all sides are created equal. So what we have done is we have adjusted their stats, pitched them against each other, until they're getting about a 50-50 win ratio. It's the best we could do on this one. I feel like it has been doing us in good stead, so rest assured, I feel like everyone has a pretty equal fighting chance. So with that said... Will we see the Kangas actually taking this one? Or will we see one of the favourites from the past, maybe one of the undercards, taking it? Who knows? Who cares to ponder why? What we're going to do is tell him.
to fight. This is actually a pretty good vantage point. You can actually see the oh the Spartans are split up. That might actually not do them a good favour. The dwarves have also split up and all the bananas, skeletons, run it down the hill. Here we go. So we've got the footmen of Pierre. Looks like they're fighting Anna B. Meyer here. Let's see how they do. Oh, and there's the dwarves and the Spartans. We've got Kim against Who's the Dwarves? Ah, Martin, sorry Martin. Martin is also fighting Joseph Delory over here. Now it does look like Anna managed to get herself surrounded. Oh look, this is actually quite the melee. I've not seen this before in previous rounds. We've got dwarves, kangaroos, spartans, skeletons, big huge mosh pit. Look at those skeletons jumping off, that's fantastic. Oh, look at the kangas, the kangaroos are jumping in from behind. Here's Anna fighting it out against Jeff. Let's just do a quick pause. Drop out of cinematic mode, how are we doing? Anna B. Maya getting absolutely wasted, she's at down to 41. Kim George with the Spartans down to 31. But we have Alabanana with 200 Skeletons and Cody. Cody doing really well right there with the Persians this time. They've not been this strong before. Let's jump straight back into the action. You gotta love those kangaroos. They don't seem to be taking it this time. Sorry, Joseph. But look at those animations as they fight the dwarves. The Spartans normally do a lot better, but that, I think, is testimony to the fact that we have adjusted stats to a 50-50. You really just don't know where they're going to be at any time. Persians are doing really well here, but drink. Cody Lewis, you into the shot here. Now, it's, it's going to be about... Is Ala Banana really going to be... Oh, she's getting charged from behind by Pierre. Is Ala Banana going to end up fighting too many sides at once? While the Persians mop up their side and then do the running while Ala is doing all of the fighting. That's going to put Ala at a disadvantage. Let's see how this goes. Blood weapon attack, right? With kangaroos kicking the skeletons. Yeah, the, the Persians are mopping up the orcs right there. We've got the footmen of Pierre really having a go against the skeletons. So here it is. Here it is. Cody Lewis coming in to face the winner of this wall. Now, Ala is actually getting hit from two sides. This, this could be what cinches this one, folks. Ala is just fighting everyone at this point. While the Persians are moving. The Persians aren't fighting anyone. That is gotta. That's gotta give them the upper hand. Go on, boys. Stick it to them. And here it is. So the Persians are now facing Pierre. Pierre is also simultaneously fighting Allah. I think this is the final battle that we're gonna see. If we. I don't know what you think, but I think the Persians look like they're the strongest right now. They look like they've got the greatest numbers. Arlo is not weak. Oh, there we go. We've got Persians now against the Skeletons. The Persians look too strong. They have to take this one. I think I think Arlo Banana ended up like in a three-way, four-way mosh pit. This is the first time that we actually have seen the Persians win. Although I shouldn't call it until it happens, right? But look at that. I mean... That's insurmountable at this point. And there it is. <laughs> look how I spelled that. Oh, no, no, no. no. I, thought I, spelled, I thought I put the E really funny. I thought I put an O in there instead. But that's a really funny E. That's a strange font. Anyway, Cody Lewis, not to take away from your victory, sir. Congratulations, you won round four. The kangaroos on the Joseph Delory did not perform. I, I, I thought that they might. I thought they may come up with some kind of superpower. But as it is, Cody Lewis with the Persians 
you are moving forward into the next round. Absolutely bravo, stellar job, young man. Until the next time, everyone, I will bid you adieu.